Hello. Miss Lestico, guess what time it is? What time? It's time for math! Yay! Hey, first grade, welcome to math. That's right, we have something new that we're kind of learning about today, Miss Lestico. Yeah, well, it's only kind of new, Miss Lestico, because our target says I can tell time to the half hour. And I remember a few months ago, we practiced telling time to the hour. That's right. We started looking at analog and digital clocks and mm -hmm. seeing how we could read time to help us, well, get places on yeah. time and know when things like specials mm -hmm. and lunch are in the classroom. That's right. And I remember looking at my analog clock. It had a face and it had two hands and hour hand and a minute hand telling me the hour and the minute. That's right. I remember that there were some differences between the hour hand and the minute hand. Oh, that's right. I remember the hour hand was shorter and the minute hand was longer. And the hour hand told me the hours and the minute hand told me the minutes. But we practiced time to the hour. So that minute hand was always pointing at 12, meaning o'clock. That's right. Mm. It's all the minute hands. Now, the minute hands are different than the hour hands because we don't read these big numbers no. on the clock when it points to it. It actually means something different. That's right. Well, this week, we're going to practice telling time to the half hour. And we're going to review telling time to the hour, but we're really going to focus on that half hour. Hmm. But, Miss Lissico, I think I might have some some friends that want to help us? Oh, I know some people who are really good at telling time to the half hour. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's check out this brain pop. Cool. It's field day. How can you tell time to the half hour? There's a lot of fun stuff planned today. What time is it, Moby? When you split something in half, you divide it into two equal parts. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Since half of 60 is 30, there are 30 minutes in a half hour. So, when the minute hand is on the six, it's 30 minutes past the hour. Let's see. What time is it now? First look at the hour hand, which is halfway between the 8 and 9. That means it's halfway between 8 and 9 o'clock. Then look at the minute hand, which is pointing to the 6. So, it's 30 minutes past 8. Or 8.30. You can write the time using numbers and a colon. What time is the three-legged race? The hour hand is between the 9 and 10, so it's halfway between 9 and 10 o'clock. The minute hand is pointing to the 6, so it's 30 minutes past the hour. The race is at 9.30. What time is lunch? Twelve thirty. You can also say half past twelve because it's a half hour past twelve o'clock. I can't wait for the sack race. That's at ten fifteen. How can you tell time to the quarter hour? When you split something into quarters, you divide it into four equal parts. A dollar is equal to four quarters. An hour can be split into four quarter hours. Since one hour has 60 minutes, each quarter of an hour is equal to 15 minutes. When the minute hand points to the three, it's 15 minutes past the hour. What time does the sack race begin? The hour hand is just a little past the ten. The minute hand is pointing to the three, which is a quarter past the hour. 
The sack race begins at 10.15. That's a quarter past 10 o'clock. What time is the jump rope contest? It's at 2.15. Remember, two quarters make a half. So when the minute hand is on the six, it's two quarters past the hour. It's half past the hour, or 30 minutes past the hour. What time is the egg race? It's at 11.30, or half past 11. When the minute hand points to the nine, it's three quarters past the hour, or 45 minutes past the hour. What time is the water balloon toss? The hour hand is between the two and three, but it's a lot closer to the three, so you know the time is close to three o'clock. The minute hand is pointing to the nine, which is 45 minutes past the hour. So the water balloon toss starts at 2.45. We can also say a quarter to three. Well, we don't say three quarters past two. It's a lot easier to say that it's a quarter to the next hour. What time are we doing arts and crafts? The hour hand is between the one and two, but it's closer to the two. The minute hand is on the nine. Arts and crafts begin at 1.45 or a quarter to two o'clock. Hmm, it's 8.30 now. The hula hoop contest starts at 8.45. That's 15 minutes from now. I can't wait. Wow, my brain just popped. That's right. That was a lot of information about how to read a clock. A little bit more than time to the half hour. That's right. There are so many different ways to tell time, but in first grade, we're just going to focus on time to the hour and now time to the half hour. That's right. Well, Miss Lime, I know when they were talking about time to the hour and half hour, mm -hmm. um, there were some differences. There were. When we have time to the hour, my minute hand or my longer hand is always going to be pointing straight up at the 12th. And I knew that that would be an o'clock time. When I'm telling time to the half hour, my minute hand is going to point straight down to the six. And when it's a minute hand, so it's going to go all the way down to the minutes. And when it's pointing at the six, Miss Listico, how many minutes is that? Well, six is technically 30 minutes because each of our hour numbers we count by fives. Oh, okay. we learned how to skip count by fives. We did. So if you can't remember what this is worth, you could just start at the one and go five, five ten, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 20, 25, 30. So when we point to the six, we take that as 30 minutes. And so I'm going to write a 30 to the right side of my dots on a digital clock because this is where the minutes belong. And just like on time to the hour, if it was pointing at the 12, it was always, always going to be an o'clock. When I'm telling time to the half hour, it's always, always going to be 30 minutes when your minute hand is pointing to the six. That's now the hour hand, Miss Lustica. Oh, I noticed something kind of tricky about the hour hand. When we have an hour hand for half hour, it points between two numbers. That's right. When we were telling time to the hour, it was pointing directly to a number. But when I'm telling time to the half hour, it's halfway between two numbers. Well, then Miss Lyon, which number do we pick? Hmm. Well, you know what, Miss Lestigo? I remember that when I'm telling time, my hour hand moves around like this. Mm -hmm. It goes in a circle clockwise. So if this hour hand was moving, it hasn't gotten to the 4 o'clock hour yet, which means it's going to bounce back to the 3. Oh, okay. So we look at that, and we call that the backyard of a clock. And essentially, the line will go 
backwards and you'll find the hour number that's behind the clock. Oh my goodness. So when I'm telling time, I'm not really going to always color back to see what that, uh, what that hour is. But what Miss Lesnico showed us is that if you were to keep moving forward with that time, it would show that it's still in the three o'clock hour. That's right. The backyard of this time would be the three because it's behind it. That's and right. so of course, when you're writing your time on the digital clock, the hour goes first and it would be three, 30. So you would put the three first and then your dots and then 30 minutes. Okay, we're going to see if we can practice telling time. Miss Lestico has the analog clock. I'm going to see if I can write the time digitally. And we are going to work together to figure out how many hours and minutes we see. That's right. Okay, so I know if I am going to tell time, I might have my minute hand pointing straight down at the at the six right oh here goodness. and my hour hand is pointing in between the seven and the eight hmm. well what time is it miss lime well i know right away if that minute hand is pointing straight at the six i have 30 minutes because that minute hand is longer and it's pointing straight at the six so that's 30 minutes my hour hand is shorter and it's in between the seven and the eight. I know it moves around in a circle like this. It has not gotten to the eight yet. So I have it right in between the seven and the eight. It would come back to the seven. So I'm still in the seven o'clock hour. So I think that this clock is showing 7.30. Now, Miss Lestico, if I wanted to, I could put a zero right here and it still says 7.30. Oh, that's right. Seven doesn't have any tens. No. And so there would just be a zero in the tens place, and mm -hmm. then it would have a seven. <gasps> Miss Lime, I have another time for you. <laughs> All right, so in this time, I can see the minute hand is pointing straight down at the six. Hmm. And our hour hand is in between the ten and the eleven. Hmm. Okay, well... If it's pointing, if the minute hand is pointing straight down at the six, I know that's a 30, so I'm going to write 30 for my minutes. Ooh, my hour hand, that's my shorter hand. It's in between the 10 and the 12. Ooh, do I look at which one it's closer to? Or, oh, wait, no, I have to see what hour is it still in. Because I haven't made it all the way to the 11 yet. So I'm going to come back, and it's leaving. It's coming from the 10 o'clock hour, which means it's still in the 10 o'clock hour. But I know that it has 30 minutes. So this time is showing 10.30. All right, Miss Lime, what would this time be? Oh, well, hang on. My minute hand is pointing straight up to the 12. I remember, if it's pointing straight up to the 12, Miss Lesio, it's an o'clock. So I'm going to put two zeros because I have zero minutes. That stands for o'clock. And my hour hand, my shorter hand, is pointing directly at the five. So I know that that means it's five o'clock. Hmm, this one looks kind of tricky, Miss Lestico. What do you think? All right, well, I'm looking at our minute hand first, and I see the minute hand is pointing straight down at the six. Oh, well, Miss Lime, that means there's 30 minutes. You can skip count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, hmm. our hour hand is pointing in between the one and the two. Has it gotten to the two yet, Miss Lestico? Well, let's see. I know it goes around this way, so it's past the one. Oh, it hasn't gotten to the two yet. It's oh. still in the one's backyard. So the hour would be one. Oh, okay. So this clock is showing one thirty. Well, Miss Lime, whose turn is it now? Um, it's your turn. On Seesaw, you are going to have to tell us what time it is. We have given you a bunch of analog clocks. Those are the clocks that look like this. And your job is to write the digital time looks like that. Make sure you pay close, close attention to those hour and minute hands because there might be some that try to trick you. Ooh, that's right. And of course, when you're all done, click that green check mark in the corner. Good luck.